Hello, today we're going to be doing some junk modelling to make Elmer the Elephant out of milk bottles. So if you just come and have a look and I'll tell you the things that you need. So you'll need some different colour squares of tissue paper. If you don't have that, you could use kitchen roll that you could colour in with some felt pens or you can find some colour colourful bits from magazines maybe you could cut up and use. Alternatively, if you've got some paint, you could just paint your elephants. Um, I've got a plastic plate here just because the glue can get a bit messy so either a plastic plate or something to rest your creation on uh, that won't ruin a worktop. Um, I've got some PVA glue but if you don't have that like a Pritt stick or any other type of glue would do. Um, some optional googly eyes and some colourful wool and most importantly a milk carton. Um, you will also need some scissors, so depending on your confidence, if you're pretty confident um, using scissors, then this is something you'll be able to do independently. Um, some of it you may need help from an older sibling or adult, um, just for the cutting part, but the rest you should be able to do on your own. Okay, so you don't need a uh, four pint of milk like I've got here. It could be a one pint, two pint, six pint, doesn't matter, as long as it's in this sort of shape, so you've got the handle here with the hole because this is going to make the elephant's trunk. Um, what you could do, if you wanted to make multiple ones, you could have a little Elmer family, which would be quite cute. Um, but I'll, I'll show you how we get started. Before you do this, make sure you rinse it out, because when milk dries and goes a bit funny, it's, it doesn't smell very good. So make sure you clean this out before. Okay, so, we don't need the whole bottle, we just need the top bit, which will make our elephant. So I'm going to start by cutting the trunk straight through. There we go. And then I'm going to get rid of most of this. So I'm going to cut through the gap that I've made here. That makes it a bit easier. I'll just do it roughly to start with and then I will tidy it up when we've got rid of the excess. Right, so I don't need that bit anymore. As you can see, it looks a bit messy. So I'm just going to tidy up the edges and try to cut a nice straight line. All the way around. So it should look something a bit like this. Okay. So that's the first stage done. Now what I need to do is turn this bottom part into the legs. So all I'm going to do, with the trunk facing to the side, I'm going to cut up, around, and then back down. Okay, so can you see I've cut a bit like a rectangle, but I've got some curves there. And that's where the body and the legs join. Okay, I'm going to do that on each side. So I need to leave a bit here, which will be the leg. I'm going to cut up, around, and then back down like that. So can you see here, I've created one leg, and I need four in all the corners. So I'll keep following. So cut up, around, do the same at the front for his front legs. Okay, now looking at this, this leg is a bit longer than that leg, so I'm just going to trim it down a bit so he's not wobbly when he stands up. Just cut that bit off. Okay, so once you've done that, if you just test it, okay, this back leg here is a bit long, so I'm going to trim that one down too. And then when it stands up and it's fairly stable, you know that is when you are ready for the next stage. So I don't need the scissors anymore. That's me done with those. So I'm going to push those to the side and then I need to roll up my sleeves because we're going to use lots of glue now. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to cover a section of this elephant in glue. So I'm just going to spread it with the end of the bottle all the way around. Well, 
else to start with this section so I don't get too sticky and then I'm going to alternate different colors so I'm just going to pick a random color of my tissue paper and then I'm going to press it down so it sticks to the milk carton or what will be the leg of Elma and then I'm going to get another color try to vary the colors you use so it looks more effective when it's done okay this does get a bit fiddly it'll be worth it in the end okay I think I'll use a yellow next okay so I think you get the idea you do that all of the way around um, if you once this is dried you can layer it up and put an extra color so I might put another purple over this another green over there and it just makes the colors more bold which looks quite good um, okay I'm now going to cover this hole here because we don't want the elephant to have a hole in its head so to do that just put a bit of glue all the way around the top and just plunk one of the squares on the top and flatten around the edges okay once that is all covered you just need to leave it to dry for a while um, so I'll put this one to the side and I've got one here that has already dried so I can show you the next stages so this is the basic part of my Elma and um, what I've also done is I've just put on a bit of paper I've glued down some different colors so that I can use this to cut out and make some ears to stick on so that's the next stage that we're going to do if you want to draw an outline of the ears first to help you, you can. I think I'm just going to go freestyle and see what happens. So, I'm just going to try and cut out an ear. Okay. So it doesn't need to be perfect. I've made mine kind of that shape, about that size. I've left this little tab here so I can fold it over and use that to stick down onto the elephant. Okay, so I'm going to make another one and I'm going to use this same shape. So I'll use this like a template. So I'm going to lay the ear I've cut out on top of the coloured bits of paper and I'm going to cut around the shape I've already done. And that way they'll be symmetrical, which means they'll be the same on each side apart from the colours, but that doesn't matter. So again, if you're not particularly confident using scissors, this is something that you can ask somebody else to help with. Okay, so now to stick these on. This will take a little while to dry and will be a bit fiddly. Okay, so all I'm going to do is on the back of the little tab that I've left, I'm going to put some glue. And then I'm going to place it just here. And press it down. And I'm going to do the same. Oh, I've got the tab on the wrong side. Never mind, you'll have a bit of an upside down here. Okay, so there are the ears on. It's starting to look a little bit more like an elephant now. Um, now, I've got some googly eyes here. If you don't have those, you could just cut out some little white circles and stick them on and do a black dot in the middle. Um, but I had some of these from a previous craft project, so I may as well put them to use now. I think I'll pick these medium sized ones. Just put a little blob of glue on the back. Doesn't matter if it's too much. Okay, one. Let them slide in. Okay. Right, and once you're happy with where the eyes are placed, just give them a push down to make sure they stay. So you could leave it like that if you'd like. Um, but I've got some coloured wool which I plaited, which I'm going to just put at the back as his tail. So you might have some off cuts of wool and um, you could screw up some tissue paper into like a strip if you wanted to do that. 
Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a little hole in the back here to put this through so it makes it sturdy. Um, this bit you might want to help with. So I'm just going to pinch the plastic to make it a bit easier to cut. So I've made the hole for the tail to go in and I'm just going to line up the plait with the hole and I'll just use a pen to push it through. And this bit's quite fiddly. And then when it starts to come through the other side, you can see there inside, the wall's coming through, if you just pull it, so you're just using the pen to get that bit of wall through. secure it. Okay, can you see you've got a little tail. Now what I'll do, um, because where I had to make the hole it's taken some of the tissue paper off, all I'll do is I'll just put a bit of glue on the top which will also help secure it and then I'll get another piece of tissue paper and put that over. So can you see it just fixing any little bits of mess that you made thinking about it you probably make the hole first before you put the tissue paper on I think that might be better and then you have him your little Elmer so I hope you have fun making Elmer remember if you are using um, a knife or scissors for the tail just make sure that you have an adult to help you with that bit because it gets a bit sharp but thinking about it you can probably just stick it on you just might need a lot of glue and patience because it's a bit heavy have fun <laughs>